look at me stopping my life for other stupid people in the world and whatever the hell I have to like literally just do this real quick. Uh, Man O'Malley. Yep. I'm alive. I'm not dead. But I had to actually talk about this because apparently it's out of it's out of hand already. And I haven't talked about whatever happened during that Ice Poseidon mansion at all. So I'm pretty sure a lot of people, even Ice Poseidon would like to know uh, what the hell happened there in that one situation. And now I definitely have to, to say something, especially now, because apparently and I didn't know this. Kimmy, or whatever her name is, Kim Sella, whatever she was going by, whatever she's going by now, whatever, it doesn't matter, it doesn't matter, broke up with Ice Poseidon, and now all these streamers think I did, like, a Mr. Steal Your Girl. I would ne okay, let me just get this out of the way. Um, I would never do that to anyone, all right? And it pisses me off, and you don't, you, man, I'm so, I'm like, I've been really angry today, enraged, I've been working, and it's just like, I have to stop my work to freaking settle this, and like, I I don't want to, do, I don't want to, I, I thought like, hey, maybe I don't need to say anything, because it's not that big of a deal, but I wasn't doing anything, that's what I thought would be like it, but it seemed like that one moment went so far that now it's like so it's it's like just ruining me. It's just ruined. People are talking crap constantly. It's coming up on their live streams. They can't hold their mouths. And I'm like really trying to not be like completely enraged because now like the the amount of rage that I do have now is like real. And I don't like to be angry. I don't, I hate anger, but I gotta tell you, you got to me. Oh, you got to me. Oh, a lot of you. Oh, a lot of you live streamers got to me. Oh, and it's real now. Oh, and it's real because of the stuff you guys have been saying about me is out of pocket. So you guys want to know what happened. I'll gladly tell you. And this is directly to the live streamers. Oh, yeah, I'm talking to you all. Oh, yeah, it's to you. It, oh, no, 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 no. It's to you now. I'm going to give it to you straight like Paul Mooney. I'm going to look. Nothing happened. But of course, of course, of course, of course, of course. It's like, of course, right? That's not what. Any, whatever, whoever told, I don't remember his name now, told probably Jacob first, because that was probably the person that he was closest to, then Ice Poseidon, and then just fumbled and twisted, and now it's just like a, it's like a, it's like a thing that you guys think I do, or I think I'm trying to do to people, and I'm like, really? Okay, uh, you know, it's like, it's easy to get angry. It is harder to keep it controlled. So let's let's keep it controlled. I have a lot to talk about. Um, let's first talk about the competition, the Butler competition. That was the hardest thing I have ever done in my entire life. In terms of physically taxing things, that was it. That one day where we had to like take Ice Poseidon and like pick him up, let me explain to you the reason why this whole situation even happened in the first place. So they had the, he wanted us to pick him up in this gigantic, like, it was like a, a, a rocking chair thing and then carry him up the steps because it was funny and it was kind of funny but then you know when you realize that i was the one carrying ice poseidon 
with 90% of the strength for some, because some reason Lucia and Nigel just didn't have any strength. So I had to literally hold up the majority of the weight. And so what that did, it, it just straight up exhausted me. That was just like the first taxing thing. And then he said, back down the stairs. And then we took him back down the stairs. And then he took, he for some reason, he wanted to have us pick him up over this glass counter. And at this point, this was where they both looked at me. Lucha and Nigel, they both looked at me and they were like, it's on you, man. It's on you. You like, we have to do this. We are all trying to make it in this live streaming thing. And if you, I mean, like you gotta, you gotta find your strength. And like in that video, I'm like yelling, I think. And it's just like, I, I, cause I'm using all of my strength to lift this man above this glass counter in the kitchen because Yes, if I drop, if I lose my strength even for a little bit, yeah, that is so much damage to this mansion. It is so much damage. It's like, and who's going to be blamed? Uh, who? Who's going to be blamed for that? Of course. Of course I'm going to be blamed. Of course, right? I got through it. I used my strength and got through it. Done. It was over. But I was exhausted, man. And then you had to go to the eliminations right after that. And then during that elimination, you saw me like kind of like panting. That's the reason why. Because I was exhausted. We, it just, I just like used, like I could feel my, the muscle dystrophy. Like I could feel my muscles literally breaking apart. I felt it. And then during, I don't know if it was after that or like before that, we had to do like a drinking thing with like only Uzi Blade made us drink and then like, I know I got super drunk, but like after that day, this is another rumor. I think I just need to blow out of the air just first. Just get out that out out the way. Out of the way. The testosterone pills. There just seems to be something with testosterone. And it's like such a weird rumor to it's like this is an inside ball game for the live streamers. If you guys have no idea what's happening for this was like off stream. They had cameras inside the mansion and like they saw me reach at the counter, right? I, there was two bottles, there's two pill bottles, right? One was multivitamins. The other was testosterone. Which one do you think I grabbed after my kidneys I felt my kidneys failing? I felt as like it, 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 I was in pain. I, it's, I needed actual nutrients in my body to survive. They didn't do, they did not give us water, food, nothing. They didn't give us anything. We couldn't even eat. They didn't say anything about being able to eat anything. So we were like in the air about everything. And so bad, so bad. So like I had to do what I had to do. I was like, you know what? I'm gonna get some vitamins. I don't think it's that big of a deal get a vitamin and i was good i was like thank god my body feels actually better it's like yeah now i got vitamins all the time now it's, yeah it shows you what the, what the health can do let's get that out the way right now i was exhausted after that mission that butler whatever challenge that whole thing that was exhausting right ice poseidon after that gave us the night off because it was like yeah that was fucked up that was pretty fucked yeah that was that was a pretty fucked uh thing to do right so then i separate from everyone because i'm so freaking tired i went down to the basement garage area and i just got because they were using where's my other phone where is my phone Where's my phone? Just to let you know. Where's my phone? Oh, here it is. The whole live stream happened on this phone. My phone. It, the whole thing. The whole butler thing. That happened on my phone. So, like, just to let you know, that's a factoid that no one knows or anything. They asked me for my phone and to do the whole thing. So, I couldn't... I had to get my other phone 
my other phone that I that did, doesn't have any of my you know data to it or anything. I had to use Wi-Fi, and then I was just I had to use my phone just to like look at it, the internet, just to see what the hell is happening in the world. I was like completely disconnected. It sucked. I was like, okay, well you gotta do what you gotta do if you want to kind of like complete this competition or even survive out of it. You don't want to give up, right? So then I was just looking on my phone. <sighs> Dumbass. Him. Dumbass. Dumb, 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 dummy. Dumb, dumb, dumb. I don't care if it's, I don't care. I don't care if she's offended by that. You're, you're, you, you, you were a dumbass for that. Like that's, I, I'm even in Ice Poseidon's court with this. It was just me in there. The basement garage area that had like a automatic light to like turn on, right? When there was movement. So when I walked in, it went in, you know, lights on. I sat down, looked at my phone, started scrolling stuff. I was like exhausted. I was like, well, I can sit down now, right? Finally. And uh, then the lights went off. Then <laughs> he walks in worried right she's worried well of course right I, I can understand that i can understand it but dumbass because you fucking walked in and then you just stood there and asked me if i was all right and i was like yeah i'm fine i'm fine right but then the lights turn off so what is that gonna look like if anyone else comes in and oh cool oh my god here comes a tech guy and he opened the door and he was just looking at us in the dark. It's just me sitting down, her standing up. And what do you think that looks like, man? What do you think that looks like? It looks, it, it looks bad. It looks terrible. This is Ice beside his girlfriend. This is it's in the just me, me and her in there. That looks terrible. And he just closed the door. He didn't even say anything. He just closed the door. It's just like I would at least want him to say something. And where break it up, he just like he just bounced. And I was like, well, it's over for me. Cause I was like, there's no way I could even try to explain that. It's no even it's like there's nothing I can do. Like truly, there's like nothing I can do. And so people were confused about what happened in the end. Why did he lose? That's why I lost. I I tell you straight up. Some of the other guys are like, no, we don't want that guy here. No, 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 no. If he's doing that, no, we don't want him here. No, of course not. And I decided to say, I even voted for you, man. Because we, I even, I'll tell you this. No one even knows this. No, he, no one knows that I decided to vote for me. No one knows that Kimmy voted me out to protect me. That's what she said. But it's like, who are the other people that voted? Probably the tech guys, because they're the ones who had that opinion that I I was trying to steal someone's girl. And then that happened. It was just like, even after that happened, she then continued to be like, are you okay? When I'm trying to like, I was trying to clean a sink or something. And then she came up to me and I was like, you dumbass, you're gonna, like, you, it's like you're making this even worse. And it's like, I don't need, I, I don't need help. And she was like, okay. And she like, that was her reaction. And she bounced. I was like, well, there's no way I can do that. It's over, right? It's like, whatever, fuck it. I lost. Like, I tried. I tried, man. I tried. I even saved High Phonics's dog from dying on the freaking streets. And I still lost. And it's just like, after that, you're like, well, there's <laughs> this thing you can do. It's like, good try, man. Hey, whatever, dude. It's all good. Hey, 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 hey. It's all good. It's it's nothing, nothing to be angry about, honestly. And that's why after I left, I left. Didn't really come back. Made a few appearances, and that was it. That that's that was all you saw of me. Nope, gone. No, I I'm not gonna I'm not gonna even try to even be around anyone because. Try to decipher that for a second <laughs> to, to explain to anyone what happened. Like, how do you, how do you get around that? Right. And so now, um, whatever, what else happened there? That was that it? Was that it? Was that all that happened? 
Because the, the eyes, people are like asking me, what do you mean about the eyes? And I'm like, that's what I mean about the eyes. Those were the eyes. That's what the eyes were about. Like, what do you mean by those eyes? Like, those were the eyes. After that, it was that. That was the eye. Those were the eyes. And so we're here like two years later. And they're still talking about like me trying to steal people's girls. And it's like, when have I ever done that? Oh my God. You guys think that that's how it is because now she's broken up with him and now it makes me look like I did something or I got in her head with something or like I, you know, actually manipulated someone into doing something. And like, it's just like, no, I did that. I would never do that to anyone. I don't even talk to the girl. I don't talk to Ice Poseidon. Oh my God. And even it's like, I'm a fan of Ice Poseidon. Why would I even do like, really, really, really? Like, I, I can, the insecurity of you live streamers, man, the dudes, you guys have such insecurities is so deep is so clear. It comes out on live stream. And then I'm like watching, I'm like, whoa, that's, that's pretty bad right there. Because like, no one knows this first night, Ice Poseidon pulls me aside. He pulls me up to his room. And he's like, hey, man, what do you do for work? Uber, how much, how much money you make for, with Uber? I was like, $200 a day. He was like, okay, well, you know, you can make that with live streaming. You know, that's pretty, pretty good for you, right? Just, just, stick, just stick with me, man. I got you. That's what he said. It was like late at night, 2 a.m. I was like really like trying to get in there, like, you know, trying to be like the best butler I could be. He was like, oh, okay, you know, how about that? Okay, how, you, you know, pretty cool. Pretty cool. But now, Twitch. <laughs> Welcome to Twitch, right? And now all these live streamers, because now Jacob is working with, like, the Austin live streamers, and probably they had a discussion about me. And it seemed to be that that was what happened. And, um... Now I know that they had this discussion because a lot of things started to come out and about, and I caught wind of a lot of shit, like a lot of shit, because now, you know, humor me this, what if in this, you know, I suicide and thinking that I'm doing something or trying to get in her head with something. And then let's say she like mentions me here or any time, any time, any, t it doesn't matter now. It doesn't, it just doesn't matter. It all looks suspect. What do you think his reaction is going to be when he's drunk, when he's tired, when he's angry, when he's sad, what do you think he's going to do? He's going to get super angry and start spreading rumors. And so that's the first thing that I notice a bunch of rumors. I have some videos. I have some videos. I told you I'll keep it. I'm going to, I was going to keep it real like Paul Mooney. Hey, I have some videos, some live streamers, uh, saying some hot things, man, some weird stuff. Coming out was out of nowhere with some crazy rumors. Uh, I even met a, f uh, a few streamers recently, and they came out with the same rumors. And I was thinking about what the correlation was. What is it that they know or they talk about that was that is you know connected to all of this? And it seems to be. Obviously, Ice Poseidon, but then there's a branch of that, right? Everyone knows. There's a branch. Everyone can be connected, and certain streamers can be have a connection here or there or whatever. It doesn't matter. That's my job to figure out where the branch leads. Where does it start? Where does it end? I have to figure it out. I have to go to Twitch stream and start chatting and figure out what the reaction to me chatting in there. And it seems like there's a reaction every time. I'm chatting, and then there's a reaction. I'm chatting, reaction. 
chatting the live streamer this is a live these are live streamers millions of millions of followers having a direct reaction to what i'm typing and i'm like hey man i'm chopped liver i'm a small streamer small youtuber i have some views i had some views i was on the top page of reddit in 2014 with anime plot videos like that was in the past i don't really have that i don't really do that anymore anyway so like i don't have much going on anyway so why would these people really be saying these things and it seems to be that it's the rumors that keep coming out and that people are deciding whether or not to believe them they're confused they don't know they don't know which one to choose they're like i don't know what's happening here could this person be lying could this person be telling the truth i don't know but i need to find out who's spreading the rumors because recently i was in jcg's stream because i think she's funny right but who came around finn now they're dating and that's I'm sure like a, a newer whatever thing. I don't know. I don't care, man. Like, it's like... Yeah, I've tried it. I can... I've tried not to get angry again because I have to deliver the information. And if I punch a wall, then I won't be able to get the security deposit back. So like, <laughs> I need to be like very even-minded. They, they were basically, he, he like... They were, they said a lot, um, and they say a lot of indirect things there, but what happened was JCG said, I can't believe he was a warlock. And you, you know, uh, cause I was typing during the time. And so who was a warlock, the wizard, the butler. Okay. Right. You got the connection. Boom boom all right so i was like that happened like yesterday or something i was like okay so there you go now there's a full circle right there so now we got the rumors of like uh me being gay like for some reason greek god x keeps talking about like me getting peed on or pooped on like i like like they, they say like i like that and it's like this that's pretty that's pretty out there but that sounds exactly like somebody who's angry saying that. And that sounds very funny. I'm pretty sure so. That's not because like some people might like just like believe that, you know, a first hand. Like, why would this guy say this? And why would he say this? And why would they say this? You know, because at first hand knowledge with people who are bigger than me, more, more famous have more money they can just say whatever they want right and so they have a direct connection to ice poseidon you're starting to get the picture they can say whatever they want about me and people will just believe it so i started noticing like people calling me gay like straight up i was just like what when how why like what? like where do you even getting this from like how do you even get to that point i was like around no Haley, no like i know kook sucks i talked to him a little bit you know we, we collaborated a little bit then all of a sudden like all of a sudden off stream boom she was like oh yeah you better watch out for him he might peg you and it's just like this is all strange she was drunk and i was like what did you just say and it's like I can't get like, I was like, now I got nervous. I was like, okay, that's a bad person right there. If she's even believing some type of rumor like that and then dispersing like that, they all think that they all know that they think they, they think they, they think that's true. They think that's just how it is. And it's just like, of course they, and then it's like, wait a minute, how many of these other people think this? And now I'm starting to get what could be happening where people are kind of like paying attention should be it sounds like some type of like wide casting thing that people are like spreading falsities about me constantly over and over and over again and it like it comes out here and there and it's like either he's gonna take your girl 
not take your girl. Like, even, like, boom. Like, hey, I'm Asu. A- even Asu is like, um, you're in her DMs, but I'm on her with. <laughs> It's like, you can't be this insecure. Like, I'm sorry. I'm not coming for anyone, man. Yeah, I, I, I told you, I'm not, uh, I'm not in the right head right now. I'm sorry. I'm not calm, servo right now. I'm so, it's so annoying, man. It's so annoying, man. It's so annoying to hear this over. Like, I was in Cutie Cinderella's chat. I was, like, literally complimenting her. And she timed me out for 900 seconds. Some moderator was like, calm down, calm, Serval. I was saying, like, she's so funny. I was like, you're like Whitney Cummings. You need, like, a show or something. Like, you're really funny. Like, I, I really like your content. Time down. And it's like, what happened? Like... Who gets timed out for being positive? It's like, what ha- What could I have done? What could I have... <laughs> I'm on edge, man. I'm on... I, I've been up for like more than 26 hours like th- i'm on my 30th hour working I'm trying to get my i'm trying to get my music i'm there man like i'm there i am very there the reason why i stopped live streaming is like why live stream where you can you know like go th- go right to the words the music thing anyway there's no th- there's nothing stopping me man but, but what seems to be stopping me is all these rumors man all these rumors man the rumors the rumors are getting is getting out of control, and it's just like, whoa, what are you guys coming out here? Why, 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 why? It's like crazy. You wake up, you talk, type in a stream, rumor, in your face from a top live streamer, right in your ear, and you know it's about you. Oh, no one else in the chat can know, because it's directly indirect. This is what they do. This is what they do. All right. It spreads kind of far, man. I'm telling you it spread far because if this is real like this, then hey, I'm pretty sure they would try they were trying to really just just destroy me, man. I swear to god, like all the way to offline TV. I'm like, what do I have to do with offline TV? Really? Like really what do I have to do with any of those people? What, like, really, really, why are you guys, like, acting as if I'm trying to steal someone's girl, trying to do something with this or that? Why? Um, this is hard. This was, this is, this is, this is hard. This is hard. I, hey, this is hard. I'm trying to, I'm really trying to actually, you know, control myself. It is not so, it's not so easy. It's not, because this is pretty, uh, pretty stupid to kind of like talk about because it's like it happens so fast and quickly and they're so secretive about it they i just get the information right in my ear i'm like you just like you just talked up and down about me on your live stream from like thousands of people and they will never know about it you guys got good at this apparently they got like code word now offline tv they have michael b jordan Ms. Kiff has Russell. So, if you have noticed, for some reason, either offline TV or, like, Ms. Kiff, for some reason, just mention, like, Ms. Kiff would say, like, yeah, Russell this and that and this and that. Just at, at, completely out of context. Like, completely out of context. Listen to all the other words around it. And you can probably kind of guess who he's talking about. And it's like, wow man that's pretty but it's like it's kind of hard to catch man because it's a lot it's live man it's live you know no one is gonna know no one's gonna know but it's all in the know man we're all connected to ice beside and man and that whole butler competition i have been trying to like act as if it didn't happen 
but these other streamers know what happened. They probably watched it. They were probably like, that's Butler Bell right there. Holy crap. What is it? What is what's happening here? He's doing it. He's he's getting it. But then also this rumor and this rumor and this rumor and this rumor. What's happening here? Why? Why is this? And then like now, like I noticed that, like, you know, <laughs> I did this last stream. I like to I like to test it. I like to test it because you have to test it if you're in this position. You have to. I was like kind of like typing. In Cutie Cinderella's chat when S Fan was there, and then like I waited like three minutes. Ludwig, boom! <laughs> it's like it's like oh, are you insecure? Like you guys are that insecure? And I'm like coming for, I'm coming for people. Like why, man? It's like you don't, you want to really ruin my career like this? My reputation, because that's what it is. You're trying to ruin my reputation. And that's what this whole thing is about. Obviously, obviously. It's like, it's pretty obvious when you got rumors that somebody's trying to ruin your reputation. And depending on how famous they are, it couldn't be just that easy to do. When you kind of go a little bit wide, you know? go a little bit wider and you go wider and wider right and then you talk you know get in people's ear and then more people's ear you get into you convince them they they start thinking things, things about me and then it gets so freaking hard for me so hard for some reason twitch was like a impossible thing even with the best content man i'm doing some crazy shit, dude i'm literally doing backflips Mixed reality, man. Using that blue screen right there. I'm moving. I don't I'm I'm getting out of this apartment. I'm I'm already moving. I'm already on the outs. But like, man, all that stuff fully animated. Fully animated live. Voice acted. And then in the game engine. Unreal Engine. Got my own stuff. And it's all because I wanted to make a music video. I wanted to make a music video. You can look at all my YouTube, whatever. It doesn't matter. All I know is that that was like pulling freaking teeth. So like, say even more people know. You think they'll watch my channel? They know about a rumor like that? They're not gonna watch me. They're gonna think I'm like a douchebag trying to steal someone's girl. Cause I noticed like Lucha when Kiara Kitty, what was it, like 2019 vi visited or early 2020? I don't know which one it was, but she visited America. She invited all of us out there. I showed up. Lucha's, he, he, he was, Lucha was protecting his girl. I was like, now that's interesting. Now that is interesting. He was like kind of like keeping her away. Like he was doing that, like that motion. And I was like, interesting. And then, oh my God, like even before that, when I got invited to get by Adam 22 himself and the Ute himself, the original host of the, the live stream and the No Jumper live stream, the street show, they, they invited me personally and then opened it up to Gary and Lucha for everybody and then put me as like, they put me as the front man, right? Because I was the one that they wanted originally. It seemed so, right? Then they added on G Gary and uh, Lucha because of it's it's a better show. It's like, hey, why not three all three of these dudes? You know, all of them, all the guys from Ice. It's it gonna be great, you know. But it seemed like what immediately happened. Obviously, I got hazed on stream. Hazed. Not only did I get hazed on the stream, man, Gary was just dissing me on stream. And this is why I don't have to, like, it's not a lie. It's on stream. It, it was live. I was, I was flabbergasted. I was like, you're just insulting me to my face in front of like 3,000 people. And everybody's like, and I can look at the chat. People are like, what's happening? <laughs> 
like, what? What's, wait, what's happening here? And then not only, it's like he was being coached or something. Like, they knew, like, the cameraman and Gary, they knew to, like, block me out of the camera. Like, like block him out of the camera. And then you can watch it. You can watch it. They block me out of the camera. They do it. They block, they do, they do it well. And they insult me. Don't laugh at, laugh at my jokes. You just can try to kind of see what's happening here. Who could be that angry to be throwing all that out there? Who could be, who could be, do, who, why? Why would that be happening? Oh, maybe Ice Poseidon. Maybe he got mad one day and was like, no, don't let him, don't let him, don't let him do anything. Don't let him get anything. Don't let him do this. Don't let him this. Don't let him that. Don't let him this. Don't let him get anything. Nothing. But Adam 22 is like, eh, I don't think that was, I don't think that's really happening. You know, but, you know, thank you to the, the, the live streamers, female and male live streamers, you know, think, thinking I'm attractive. Very nice of you, but you're ruining my life. I'm like so angry. Like, it's crazy. Because all these rumors are like crazy. Do you know what happened? Do you know what happened on that No Jumper stream? The cameraman thought it was a good idea, right? The cameraman thought it was a good idea. Um... Shia LaBeouf was doing like a theater show and on Melrose later that night and he was promoting it uh, with a bunch of the, the cast people on the show, right? And they were like all over Melrose, right? He thought it was a good idea. Go right up to one of those people in the cast and just insult him to the face. The cameraman, I don't know his name. I don't, I don't forget his name. I forget his name. I forget, I don't remember what, I don't remember. So the guy, the cameraman that was running the show at that point, he went right up to the person, just, just like started insulting, he just started insulting Shia LaBeouf right to the person's face. And they had to be quiet. They had to be like statues or something. So they just took it and I was just like, what the hell is happening? And then when he got in front of Shia LaBeouf, he was like the nicest person ever. Yo, man, yo, dude, man, you're so cool. And it's just like, and then like a couple streams later, they bleached my hair. And I was like, you know what? I don't want to get hazed or just like straight up. Yeah, bleach the only black guy on the No Jumper show. Bleach that guy's hair. Haze the only black guy. That's a great idea. I was really quiet about that because you know what? It was a little bit too scary to talk about and put in a video. You know what I mean? When that happens to you, you're like, oh, you guys are like demented. Oh, okay. Let's just like get, let's just not even say anything. Get out, get out of there. And I left. I quit. I was like, uh-uh, uh-uh, no. <laughs> no, I quit. People thought, oh, he got fired. No, no, I was like, no, I quit. Of course, of course I quit. I don't want to be connected to that. What do you think? Sha what do you think Shia LaBeouf didn't hear about that from his cast members? You think Shia LaBeouf didn't hear about that? Are you serious? Who wants to be connected to that man? Who wants to be what? And this happened live on the stream. You could, if someone has that whole stream, they can pull that up. Literally, that happened on stream. I was like, this is like, I'm not, I'm not here. I'm not here. I don't want to be here. Like, and now all these rumors, dude, the rumors are crazy. They're actually crazy. When I was doing the Pokemon musical, I thought, I was, you know, getting really good at doing the animation, motion capture, using a connect, by the way. I don't even have a mocap suit. Using the connect for the motion capture. That whole thing was connect. That the motion cap. That was the connect. Uh, yeah, I had to. I don't have the money. I didn't have the money to just spend on a motion capture suit. I was like, well, what, the, the, the Xbox Connect, whatever. Who cares? If I can get it going, then whatever. Let's do it. And it looked nice. I got it going. I had all of this other software. Boom. It looked. It looked great for what I had right somehow now this is how i knew 
that there's like rumors or somebody trying to get some information on me or whatever they're like paying way too much attention to what i'm doing <laughs> somehow right pokimane this is before i finished the whole thing somehow pokimane got either the script or like like the audio and then they got they delivered that information i streamed a part of the intro right but i didn't show everything not in detail i just showed a little bit i didn't show everything and so even if they did see the stream that's kind of weird man that they that she would even get that information that quickly the next day while I was working on it, I checked Twitter. I see Pokimane, and this is it right here. I got, I, I was like, I wonder if she deleted it or something. No, it's right here. It's right here. Boom. Look at this. Feeling a little spicy. I have a lyric. Um, That's, I say Pokimane is one hot tamale. And then Ray is like, that's one hot tamale. <laughs> and I was like, there is no way they even looked at that. Like, they're way too big. Way too big to even look at anything I'm doing, actually. But somehow that was like, you know, in terms of irony, right? In terms of coincidence, that, that was way too specific, man. I'm sorry, man. That's way too specific way too specific that's like that's dead on my lyric that's that was it they they got that information it's like there's no reason for her to put that out there she hey there you go that's and i was looking at him it's like so who's the who's leaking stuff and i was like that night i decided lily pichu was streaming and then all of a sudden lily pichu has the kick now all of a sudden Lily Pichu has the kick to want to make musicals. And I was like, this is some weird, this is, this is weird right here, man. And this is during the time where I was like finishing it up. And I was like, what the hell could be happening to where I'm literally just, just like making content. Somebody is actually going inside the content that I'm making and then reporting that content. That's pretty scary, don't you think? It's pretty scary because they all got that information. All of Off Online TV, they all got that information. Even Ryan Higa was there. And that's how I was like, this is not cool. This is not even cool at all. This is nothing. This, this is not good at all. This is like now deeper connections being ruined for the future of any endeavor that I'm trying to do. It's just like anything, just get just, just getting destroyed because of some random thing that I had nothing to do with that I had no control over. Like it, all from that one moment, that one moment where she walked in, and it's just like I couldn't. What, what, what am I gonna say? Get out of here! Like, what am I gonna yell at her? It's gonna make it look even worse. It's just like if she's not a threat to my life or something, like I'm not gonna really like say get out go away I was, she was like trying to check on me and it made it just oh, just looked so bad man and that's why i was like feeling for ice beside and i was like i don't know like you know that was i had no control over that like literally i had nothing but now all the it's just all this is you know off to the races literally off to the races and this is the type this is the stuff that i had to deal with man this is the stuff, and like they come out with it, you know, they, you know, offline T, net, offline T, offline TV, the, those people were like just saying like a bunch of stuff, like, you know, they literally said like, they probably, this is what happened, I'm sure, and with everyone, they thought I didn't make my animation myself. I use that blue screen, I use this microphone, This guitar, that, 
this freaking piano and I banged that thing out, voice acted everything, sang everything, and I did it myself. Yeah, I did that myself. Of course. Who else is going to do it? I wanted that done. That was something I needed to do to be able to make my music video. I needed to actually get down the science of doing a live performance with animations. And that's why this whole thing is tilting me because I am already at the point to finishing the whole project, the process of making this music video that I need to make for a song that I really wanted to do. And now all this stuff is in my way. Like, it's incredible because, hey, you know, now there's even deeper connections with people in the industry in general with music, all of these live streamers. Everybody's connected to Little Nas X, Bella Porch, uh, Carl Jacobs, Dream, all of that. And if any of them, because guess what? Carl Jacobs and Dream watch Ice Poseidon, what would they think? What do you think they would think about that information? Does, did that guy really do that? I watched that stream. Did he really do that? Man, that's messed up. That guy, no. For, forget that guy. That, no, that guy is not getting anything. Never. That guy is not getting anything. It's connected, man. It's connected. It's connected. It's connected. Everything. You know, everyone was watching Ice Poseidon. He was the big phenomena. And it seemed to be that I was that I came in with these other butlers and we were that big old period. That big old period. Because it ended in a big old period. Man, like you don't know what I was feeling when I was watching those FBI agents raid that mansion. Do you know? that I was like, yo, like, if there's like a guardian angel, if there is anything such thing as a guardian angel, that motherfucker was looking out for me. Like, totally. I could have lost so much. They took everyone's equipment, all of their Every, their phones, computers, all of it. They took everything, all of it, every single thing. And do you think that, do you think that I'm not even being investigated myself? Of course. I got police all up, up my asshole every day, man. Police are all up my asshole, man. Shit, I can't get rid of, they, they're afraid of me because what they did to me when I walked outside and they, forced me inside the vehicle. Literally, literally for, I was literally, I, I crossed this, I'm telling you, I crossed the street, I was going to a rental car, and then a police driver just, police officer just comes up, get on the ground. And then I was like, okay, okay. And I started getting angry, I was like, why? What the hell? And then I get on the ground, and then they say, you're resisting. It's like, put him on the ground. <laughs> it's like, what the fuck? <laughs> like, what? They wanted some interaction. They wanted something. They wanted me to, they wanted something. They wanted to kill me, I think. I know. They, they came, they came ready to kill, man. They were ready. They were came, they were, they, they were going to try to kill me. Why do you think I reacted that way? They were trying to kill me. Literally. I was, I was about to die. You think about all this shit, man. It's like, that's what I had to deal with. And I got some people like banging on my window, man. Banging on my window. Like some red, some, some guy who works as, as the uh, a lawn, whatever person in this apartment complex, he comes around, boom, knocks the window. He wakes me up. It's like, well, looks like I'm awake. Because what, how am I gonna react? You think I can react to anyone violently? That's what they're looking for. They're looking to tilt me 
to a point where I explode and then they can re retaliate, you know, retaliate with some violence, get me dismembered, do something. They're trying to do something to me. I don't know why, but it's happening, man. My mail, yo, my mail was being stolen. They arrested a mailman. They arrested a mailman in this apartment complex. You know, it's like, why is it happening? Oh, I wonder why. <laughs> I wonder why. One day, I still have the email. One day, I got an email, came back. I was doing a bunch of stuff with my car. The, the, the leasing agent was like, everyone in the apartment complex, you need to go get your mail because everyone's mailbox is open right now. And I was like, looks like they caught the mailman. Uh, yeah. And, uh, yeah, that, they, I was look. I saw police officers right outside the apartment, just like lined up around the part, the, the, you know, the business that's next door. And then I was like, huh, I wonder what's happening there. And I got the email. I was like, Oh, what the, f <laughs> like, okay, well, there, it looks like they got him. And after that, everything stopped. But then someone started stealing my packages and opening my packages, putting nails in my tires. And you can, this is the type of stuff that I was dealing with at the same time of these live streamers making rumors about me. Now, what do you think I'm going to really feel about some of these live streamers? What do you think I'm going to feel? Like, why? Why, man? It's, 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 it's crazy. It's crazy stuff. And like, it's out of my hands. I'm not as famous, man. I'm just not as famous. I am like focusing on work so I can get enough money to get a house. So I can do a music video or, you know, get enough money so I can like get advertising for my music video. So I'm just taking like all time off live streaming, building like fame, whatever. It doesn't mean anything. The type of fame I, I can get with the stuff I'm doing is even bigger than whatever Twitch can ever give me anyway. So it's like, why the hell would I live stream when I can get even bigger than what I can be on Twitch? Why? Why? Why would I do that? Why? It doesn't make any sense. I was like, why am I doing this to myself? No, stop. Go for everything that is going to be so much bigger than Twitch. But see what's happening. All this stuff is so connected and you can get, get destroyed. When someone's famous and they're rich, but they're really insecure, it's like they are a successful loser. And that's the term I found out. I was like, these are successful losers. They're so successful, but they're still themselves from middle school, high school. And they'll be so insecure that they'll destroy somebody off of nothing. No facts, no truth. They won't even try to find out because they're too insecure, too scared to find out what the truth is. They don't, no one asked me. No one asked me anything. They just believe whatever. They're too famous and they spread falsities. And then I heard all these live streamers saying like, oh man, don't spread rumors. Don't spread rumors. Hey everybody, let's not spread rumors guys. Let's not spread rumors. It's like, really? That's where you're at? Where you have to like convince other people not to spread rumors? Some of these people don't care, man. They got their... Yo, I, this is why this is why I realized I do like a lot of research on the internet about like a lot of stuff, a lot of real life stuff, and like someone just real someone okay in Israel, they have discovered that they can put nanobots in your body and generate non-lethal electrical currents just tonight. Tonight, the man who made the MRI scanner for the brain, the man, the very Nobel Prize winner person, I drove the guy working directly with him. 
who has a new discovery for MRI scans. Just tonight. There are crazy amounts of people making crazy amounts of advancement in human life. And you got these live streamers with this gigantic ego and they're destroying people's lives. Now, don't you think that's a little scary? These people who are not doing anything but entertaining are just destroying people's lives, like me. They'll believe a rumor and then go on 100% on the rumor, not believing, not finding out the real truth about it or anything, and then they destroy the guy's life. They destroy my reputation. And it seems to be prepared. It seems like it got reversed somehow because I was just like kind of still myself. Now they just think I'm like, oh, he's just really attractive. And it's like, well, thank you, but, oh, well, and yeah, well, all those times I, like, really went ham on that knife and just jabbed it into my freaking desk and bled out, and I had to take a freaking Band-Aid, put it on my hand, because I was so angry, because I heard some rumor about me, that wasn't fun, because I was so pissed. I was, it's just like, there's nothing I could have done. It's like, what a... It's like self-inflict. I was like, like I got scars now, man. Like it's crazy. Look at my nails, dude. I'm like, I'm, I'm only wearing black. I feel like nothing. I look at other human beings as tombstones now. That's why I look. I can. I I see myself as a tombstone. I see other people as tombstones. I don't care about people because this is what I had to deal with every day, man. This is what can happen to you. You get a little too close to these people who have no responsibility. They'll just destroy you, man. They'll just destroy you, and you can't do anything about it. And that's, I think that's everything. I think that's everything. That's literally, I kind of went through literally everything. There's like a lot of people talking rumors here and there. It's crazy. This is, and, and you know, connected to the ice beside it. And man, fuck me. This is what I was thinking. I was like, yo. If Kim ever breaks up with Paul, then it's going to be bad for me. Because of course, man, of course. What is that going to make me look like, man? What? Oh, look, he did it. He did it. He got, yo, I can't believe he did that. Oh, my God, he did that. To, I, it's like, that's pretty messed up. That guy's messed up. And these people would believe that. And I got, like, cutie Cinderella calling me an idiot. And just, like... Wow, man. Wow, wow, wow. And then she, he's like, it was, it, that was the breaking point. It was JCG and Cutie Cinderella, kind of, and then Ludwig reacting to what I'm saying. I noticed Hasana B. This is what Hasana B, Pokimane, they were all like scrolling up to see what I would say in the chat. And I would notice it. I'm like, <laughs> you know, you type in a chat, and thousands of people are typing all at once. Thousands. These people were. What? Where are they gonna come? Where, why, why are they looking at my name? Why are they? Why? 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 Why is? Oh my God! No, everybody's getting revealed. I don't care. Devin Nash. I'm Jasmine. Why? Why are they talking about me? Why? 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 What's up with that? What's up with that? I'm coming for everyone. I don't. I don't care. I. They, it's too far. Like, I have a clip of I'm Jasmine talking. Yo, this was crazy discovery, man. But of course, it's all connected, right? There's a guy, there's a black dude in Japan that streams. And I was like, that guy looks really familiar. <laughs> he was hanging out with I'm Jasmine. And I was like, what does that guy look so familiar for? <laughs> and it was the guy who streams like Ice Poseidon when he went to Japan. And I was like... Oh no! <laughs> Wait, that means that like, I'm Jasmine knows who I am. If they talk about me, and if I'm in the chat, and they're like, the guy, I have the clip. The guy was like, there was a guy next to I'm Jasmine. I donate, I sub. I use like a, either a donation or a sub, or sub. And then the guy was like, what? Mom's gay. And it was just like, where do you get that from? Oh my God, you guys know who I am. We're really good at hiding that. 
And it's like, I have the clip, man. Let me pull it up. I don't even, where, oh my God, hold on. I, 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 hey man, I collect clips. I have to, because after you start realizing that people are like lying about you, you're going to have to start collecting evidence, man. Like you're going to just have to like, no one's going to believe you unless you pull it up. That's why I pulled up the tweet. That's why I pulled that, that tweet from Pokemon. It's just, it's just real. It's like, there's nothing I can do. I might have to just cut this. I have no idea. I, I don't know if it's like in this hard drive or the other one. Cause I have more. I had like literally had to like split apart my whole fucking. And someone hacked me. <laughs> and then the hackers, oh my God. If it wasn't enough, <laughs> then the hackers came. Okay, here it is. Oh my God, it's a gigantic folder. Oh my freaking God. Oh my God, it's such a big folder. Let's see here. Where's that clip? Isn't that in this folder? Nope. Is not here. I'm gonna have to cut this. Where is
I literally can't find it. Holy crap. Where's in this PC? Oh, okay. Right. Holy crap. I completely forgot about this one also. Holy crap. I forgot about this one. Okay. Um, what? That wasn't a headshot? That wasn't... Okay, I'm just missing. Um... Wait, what? Is this a mono? All right, let's go for the flashy move. The audio is gone. One more on there. Where? Um, Viper. Why can't I hear it? What? Gone. Oh. Second, I think. Nice. Right. He disappeared. What cool. Wait, what is happening? Default. Why can't I hear? What the hell? What in? What in God's name? What in the world? Oh my God! What? Okay, yeah, I heard it. That was kind of hard not to miss. I don't know how to do calm servo technique. I have no idea why they developed this. I have no idea. What, I, I don't even know if I should put this in, in the video or not. I have no idea. It's like... It, I was watching a stream... I don't know if I should put this in the video. This was creepy. This was weird, but like, I play a lot of Valorant, and like, it seemed like I got in a game with Quarter Jade and Master Yoshi. I didn't know it uh, because I don't. I didn't know who they were. <laughs> I just didn't know, and I was just playing the game, and they're calling me Psycho. I guess he's Psycho. He's crazy. And it was working because that's how I play and right? that's how I win. And so they were getting, it seemed like that's where they got pop off from. Cause I was like, I remember saying pop off to somebody, but I don't know who it was. I don't know, but there's this. 
and literally it's just like i guess tina i don't know they were trying i guess they like have techniques that they were using i have no idea what this is it seems just be like it sounds like a thing they're like use calm servo technique i don't know if this is really what they said i can't tell but it was kind of hard to miss because I had to like rewind it and like hear it multiple times. And then it was just like, there's no way. But with all these rumors, it's like, okay, well then probably, yeah. Okay. I don't know why they have a con. Why I, I don't know why they named. There it is. I don't know what that, I have no idea. That's, that's just creepy, man. I, that's just creepy. It's, that is just creepy. If that's real, I think that's just creepy. I I don't know. That's just, that's just weird to do, literally. But I, I need to find this clip. Oh my God. What do I say about this? Oh my God. What do I say about this? What do I say? What do I say? What do I say about this? What, what, is, what is there to say about this? Okay. All right. There's another creepy thing that happened. There's a bunch of creepy things that, oh. Okay, so. When a lot of the live streamers went to California to do a bunch of content, the LA. I was working. I was trying to avoid them. Uh, for obvious reasons. For obvious reasons, right? And uh, it seemed to be, this was the creepiest thing. I have the trip. I have the trip. I still have the trip in my phone. I have the trip in my phone. Um, there's a trip that was forcing me. I was watching this whole stream. It was really funny. It was really fun streams. Miss Kiff was doing IRL. Hassan was doing IRL. And then Esvin did IRL. I was watching it live. But then this is what happened to me. Somehow, some of these Uber rides go really to very specific places that I have no control over. And somehow I ended up going and picking someone up at the uh, the Hundred Thieves compound. And I was like, well, looks like I know where this is now. And this is where literally everyone who knows exactly who I am is right now. They all, like, if anyone just glances their eyes literally to the left, they'll be like, that's Butler Bell right there driving that car so what do you think i was like time to go home <laughs> i was so ahead in money i was like i had to i had to let go of the money my shift wasn't over i usually drive 12 hours a day my shift was not over that's the end of the night I was directing, you can direct your trips towards a destination. My destination was my apartment, which is like 40 miles away. I was like, no, mm -mm, no, I know, because I didn't know the 100 Thieves party was happening. The second I drove up, I was like, ain't no way. Ain't no way this is actually happening. And I was just like, nah, I, I'm not doing this. I'm not doing, I'm not doing this. I'm not doing, I'm not going to be, I'm not going to like, rip that band-aid back off no 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 i'm out of here right but then lo and behold to my surprise someone named tommy got in the car and on purpose 
I didn't look at his face. Now, who named Tommy? Who named Tommy? Tommy had the 100 piece compound with me there. Oh, yeah, Tommy in it. Who also knows Ice Poseidon? So, you best know they are important because I had my glasses on. And yeah, I don't have the afro, but definitely if they seen that string, they'll be like, oh, oh, snap. Look at who it is. Look at who it is. And so I bring you the creepiest clip of me trying to get the hell out of that region. Because they, for some reason, my trips, it, I was losing. I was just losing. I was trying to get away from that whole area. And I have ride quotas, man. I have to accept trips. So if I'm really trying to play the game, I'm like, okay, what are the chances they're taking an Uber? Not so bad. You know, I, you know, if, if it's, if I'm a little bit around them, it's all right. Not that bad. Right. Eh, eh, wrong. Right next. It was, I was literally. It was like five, I was five feet, about five. Eventually I was like five feet away from Cutie Cinderella, Austin and Q, and, and S fan because a trip forced me to go right next to them. It like, it literally just directed like the, even the GPS just put me right next. And then I'm like, I'm looking at the stream and then I'm looking at them and I'm like, that's them. And I'm like, I'm not looking. I'm just dry. I'm. I don't. I'm. I'm just a driver. I don't know what. I don't see anything. Oh, what? I don't see anything. What? I, what? Who? Who is that? S fan? Who's driving? I don't know. I'm just watching the live stream. Cause I was just watching my live. I was just. I was like, you know. You can have the. I was just listening to. I was just listening to the live stream while I was driving. I was listening to live stream. I was like, "Hey, you know, just watch the content. Just watch some content, like I always do. I just watch content. I watch live streams and listen to content. I listen to it. I listen to the live streams all the time. That's the only way I can get through Uber. But then, look at this. Check this. This is crazy stuff. This is like this is this was. I don't know what happened. I don't know what happened." And then right here, it's like perfect. And there you go. I just drive right past him. And he look at S fan. It's like they knew what car I was driving and everything. And it seems like he just saw me like right there. What? Like, really? Like, seriously, this is like, it's, it's, I don't know what's happening. I have no idea because you can actually, what you can do, you can actually, Hey man, you can look at trip. You can look at Uber drivers in the area. If you turn on your Uber app, I think that's how they did it. You can just look at who's driving. And you know, because I was right there and they're like, Okay, we can just literally just follow him, can't we? And that's how they did it. Because it was like they went and they, this is the crazy, this, they went to the most expensive gas station in Malibu, going towards Malibu to get gas. It's like, why are they, like, what the hell? That's like the most expensive gas station i was like if they're really trying to get gas like that's not the place to go and cutie cinderella knows that so does austin why are they go there why like they got money but it's like there's other gas stations man see how that works see how that works 
It's just right the when you got the evidence right in front of you, you gotta question. You just gotta start questioning things. What's happening? Why? You know? I gotta pull up that I'm Jasmine clip. That that was crazy. The I'm Jasmine thing, that was that was crazy. Maybe it is Yes. There it is. Aha. It was in my downloads folder. Okay. Here we go. So. Uh, it's, it's, mess, it's just messed up. I It was just messed up. And I'm Jasmine. <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> oh. Check it. So, yeah. I say simtax pog. Small jokes, then, and then he looks at it. The notification comes up. It looks like she was trying to hide it because she already knew. Seemed like she already knew. I didn't know that, but that's what she knew. I didn't know that she knew. I thought, I didn't know, but you know, I think I consider myself a small fry, but I didn't know. So there you go. So look, he sees that. And he looks in and look what he says. Wait a minute, the audio isn't. Oh my God, the audio. The audio is not there. Why is the audio not playing on this? Whoa, what the hell? What? Okay. What the hell? Okay. Yes, but right. And he's actually a monster. I mean, like, when I saw that, I was like, did you just say, did you just call me gay? Like, from what? From what? Jasmine. Jasmine. Yeah. I don't know. We're looking for models. And he's actually a model. Just Rob. 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 Who's gay? So who's Rob? Yes. Or, 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 I don't know what your name is. Like, who's Rob? Stop being a weirdo thing, statue. Sorry, what's your name? Who's Rob? No.
Yeah. There it is. Proof is in pudding, man. Right there. Right in front of you. Just right there. Someone that's in front of me, what do you think my reaction is? Like, holy shit. I'm like freaking out. Like, like, what is out there about me that I need to take care of? Because apparently I needed to take care of a lot. And like, I just didn't. I just didn't hear enough, see enough, like get enough information from more live streams. I didn't get the knack to start like uh, investigating a lot of the live streamers. Like that's when I started that, that clip. That's when I started, I started investigating a lot of these live streamers They're calling me stupid. It's like, good. Good, good. Call me stupid. Yeah. Good. Good. Yes. Because if they think I'm stupid, they'll say whatever. And they'll say they think I'll, I won't catch it. I catch everything. Oh, oh, I catch everything. I catch every single thing. Oh, they think they think it's just, oh, I'm telling you, I told you I'll be, I'm, I'm going to be clear as day, like po freaking Paul Mooney, man, I'm, hey. Hey, man. I know what's up. It ain't no joke. It's no joke anymore. No, no, no. This, this is no joke. This is messed up. This is messed up. I want to see if I have any more clips here. What is this? I'm done. And then Almighty 39 Death, man. So there was like some type of like, I don't know what happened here. She was talking about, she was, 39 Death was talking about like, women being criticized in video games. And I was literally agreeing with her. And I said, isn't it crazy how guys are criticizing the thing that they like anyway and she twisted that and gaslit me boom live on stream just gaslit it made me look so bad it was like what the hell wait what even happened it was like, what happened? What did I even say that was wrong? But then she said something so specific that only I know that uh, someone knows from a Discord message. And that's gone doc. I don't know if I want to put this in there. I don't know if I put this vid video in here. I don't know. But I was saying in a conversation before like a live stream, I don't know if they can handle me what I say because I'm a centrist. Which is not like an evil thing. It's like saying you're so, saying you're centrist is like that's not evil. Unless you're like super politically minded and you're like, if you're centrist, that means that you this and that means you this and ah, it's like only someone who's really left would think something intense about that. But she pulled all that out on on me in all in one clip. She gaslit me and then, like, just insulted me 
for for being a centrist. It's like the weirdest thing. It's just like you gotta know when you're being talked about, and that's you. That's you. That's like <laughs> you. Like that's you. You like that's how I do. I was like, okay, okay, yeah, I I get it now. So here it is, like. I just can't believe the thing that dudes want is such a constant issue on a majority male platform, Pog. It was back when I used to put Pog to like literally everything I said. And she just sniped that message. Pow! Just like, boom, got it. Read it. And then she gaslit me and twisted it. It was like, I don't even understand. You can already see her looking at, you can, see, you can literally see her looking. You can literally see her looking at the screen because it's like an act of conversation. And you can see she's this is she's just gaslighting. It was like the weirdest thing ever. Then she double takes, reads it, and here we go. Oh, it seems like she scrolled back to read what I said. And this is maybe I shouldn't put this one out there. Maybe I should. I don't know. Do I want smoke? Do I want the smoke? Do I want to blow up the spot? Do I want to blow up the spot? Am I going full Paul Mooney here? Am I am I going Patrice? Am I going Patrice O'Neill? That's what I'm at now. I just can't believe the things that dudes want is such a constant issue on a majority male platform. Doesn't sound too bad, does it? Right? Talking about women. That's the topic. Yeah. The things that dudes want, women. Yes, of course. How's that a problem on a majority male platform? Then she just gaslit me. Wait, dudes want misogyny? Dudes want to hate women? Is that an active want for most men? Do you guys enjoy hating women? Is that just like a fun pastime for you? Oh, look, it's three o'clock. Time to hate on some woman. You see that? Like what? what like what? You see that? It's like, what happened? Like really? Like actually? Like what? She just, just she was like, oh, oh, you, oh, you're talking about misogyny. Oh, you're talking about, oh, they, they want, yeah, men want misogyny, right? Yeah. Men want misogyny, right? And now watch her, watch her lay it in there. It's like she had like a thing about me saying that I'm a centrist and not like a liberal or a leftist or whatever the hell. Politics bullshit. It's all fucking waste of fucking energy. Oh my god. What the fuck? Thank you, Luigi. Oh, did I not have that in this one? Okay. Not in this one. This is the next one. Right. It was like the next moment. Not just woman. I hate kids and myself too. And there it goes. So like, where did she even get that one from? She's just like pulling out like, it was like a, it's like a, a jab to my heart. It was like so disheartening. See that? It's like disheartening. It was like, what the fuck? I didn't even say that. But she must know some personal information it's like I know I, I, he he must hate kids and oh oh you, you oh I hate kids and uh, myself too like that was like a personal attack. 
It's like, where do you get that information from? Like, how do you even get that information? You must know who I am then, right? I don't hate kids. I don't know where that comes from. I don't know where that comes from. I don't know where, it, where, where does that come from? Like, where does this, where do these things come from? This is what I'm talking about. Where, where does that come from? Where does that actually come from? It's the weirdest thing. And then here she comes with the centrist thing. Not just women, I hate kids and myself too. Uh, I see, like a centrist. <laughs> Ooh, boy. Ooh, oh, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh. <laughs> Oh yeah, she kind of leaned and she even leaned her like... <laughs> why, man? Like, why? Why? It is so confusing. It is very, very confusing. I have no idea what to think about it. Honestly, I have no idea. That was that because I like 39 Def so much. I literally watch her every night. And yeah, yeah, it felt like betrayal. Just like a big old betrayal. Like shit, this is what you really think of me. You just think I'm a fucking centrist, dumb, like dumbass, but you read everything I say then. For some reason she just has she just looks at everything I I type out. No wonder Ace was nervous. It's like fuck, man. I don't know what that's about. Shit. No, yeah, I'm airing this whole shit out because I don't. I'm tired of this shit. No wonder Ace was nervous. I'm on Ace's side. I'm on Ace's side. Fuck it. That's where I'm at. Literally, I'm like I don't know. I I don't. I don't. I don't even know. I don't even know. I'm just watching content that I find funny. And I watched her for a while when she had like this other guy named Fat Cock. I don't know if that was, I don't know if that was Asu. I don't know if that was, I, I, I don't know. I don't know people's personal relationships. I don't know every live streamer on the fucking planet. I'm just watching content. I'm like, man, that was funny. Let's keep watching that. And they're just get, wow, that's pretty cool, right? Oh man, that was funny. Oh, here, you know, oh, lo, 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 lo. Like that that's it. And then like people are like, why are you coming after my girl? It's like <laughs> what are you talking about, man? I should have never sent that freaking DM. I sent a DM to 39F, where can I find a girl like you? And that's where I messed up. That was like a big whammy. I know that was a big whammy. I was that was I should have never said that because I didn't know all these rumors around. And then that was just a do in. They probably just like just air me out to dry then. Boom. Let's air them out. And then they probably, she probably like blasted me. She probably just like blasted me in front of all these other people on offline TV, all the Asian live streamers blasted. Like, let's, let's start talking shit about him. Let's start taking him down. Let's start like getting like, let's, let's boom. Yeah, forget this guy. This guy about this. This guy, this is why this, this is why that, this is why this. And it's like, now I'm getting all that. It's like, that wasn't that bad. It's like, then why are you even paying attention to what I'm saying in the first place? Anyway, should I, re should I reveal the DM conversation? Cause I was like, I was like, I barely was able to type the a response to that. I sent her a DM on Twitter after she gaslit me. And then she double gaslit me. <laughs> she gaslit me on stream and gaslit me in the DMs. I don't want to leak that. But basically along the lines of, it was like, what are you talking about, man? What are you... That, that's why they say it's just like that's why it's like a, a gaslighting it's just like what are you talking about there's nothing wrong there like i was just you know just using her for stream man like we're, we cool she she was like no no no, we're cool you know as if i was the aggressor if i did something wrong as if i did something wrong i was like 
because that's why I dropped it. I was like, <laughs> you did, you're not even apologizing. It's just like, oh, I'm sorry. You know, it was a heated conversation. That's, hey, that's it. She's, she got an emotion. Probably got emotional, probably was at an emotional state, blah, blah, blah. Who cares? It's a it's Twitch stream. Anything can happen. Who knows? Who cares? It doesn't matter. It just doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. And even when I say it doesn't matter, it's like, it's not that big of a deal. That she went in on me specifically and then said a bunch of other personal information. That's when I have a problem about all of it. And it's like, whoa, that was bad, bad. That was, I don't know where that came from. That was bad, bad.